Yeah, tell me about it. Thanks for checking out, uh, thanks for checking out, Tom, uh, I'm Tommy, the tub of the, uh, thanks for checking out. Hey guys, Tommy the Tubby Explorer here. Uh, I didn't have anything better to do today, so I decided I'm going to come out and show you a little known hidden gem on the edge of Missouri. Let's go check this out. Friends and followers, I present to you Our Lady of the Rivers, located in Portage de Sioux, Missouri. Bear with me, evidently there's been uh, flooding down here. Yeah, tell me about it. Anyways, you can see what I mean here. All muddy and slick. The surrounding grounds have been flooded. Even my car is sitting on a pile of mud on a parking lot, which you can't really see from here, but yeah, there we go. All right. If you've been here and you recognize the name Our Lady of the Rivers, then you might have a good understanding as to why I'm having a hard time keeping a straight face. If you're not familiar with Our Lady of the Rivers, then you'll see in just a moment exactly why having a hard time keeping a straight face. Damn, look at all these footprints here. Look at this. I'm gonna have to get my car cleaned out after I hop in. That's the way I just came through. Look at all that driftwood. Are you ready to see exactly why I'm having a hard time keeping a straight face? I don't know whose idea it was to come up with this design, but... Oh! <laughs> oh, damn. Okay. 1951, raging floodwaters threatened to destroy Portage de Sioux. The community pulled together, prayed to Mary, who was given the title Our Lady of the Rivers. The floodwaters receded and the community was saved. The shrine is dedicated to the memory of that event and serves as both a reminder of the tremendous power of nature and a tribute to its incredible beauty. 25 feet high statue, 20 foot concrete pedestal, designed by Norma McClory and was dedicated in 1957. So, Our Lady of the Rivers is a statue of Mary that looks out over the rivers. And yes, it is quite a beautiful sight, especially when you're out here on the river. And boy, does it get windy and chilly out here. No idea what that is up in the distance, but there she is. I mean, from the front, you know, it's passable as a statue of Mary. But from the back, it's just a giant <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. And I feel so bad laughing at it. And over there, you can see the Great River Road. Or at least I think that's the Great River Road. Either way, over yonder, you're looking at Illinois. So my cousins and I used to come out here and go fishing, and sometimes it was late into the night. It's a pretty good spot. 
Um, due to the flooding, the benches uh, uh, spend a lot of time covered in mud, so definitely bring your own chairs. But uh, good spot, good fishing. Good view. Especially when you get into the uh, evenings. And you get to watch the cars go by all the way across the river. Just plenty to see.